Please hear that. Hi everybody, good morning. It is Sunday, July 31st, around 10 a.m. on this dark, gloomy, nasty, gross day. Um, but here I am with my end of month update because we're already at the end of July. Happy birthday, Harry Potter. Yes, it's Harry Potter's birthday today, which is very exciting. I should probably, I feel like I need to do something Harry Potter-ish. Uh, hope everybody is doing well, has had a good last couple weeks. I've been struggle struggling the last couple weeks. I, especially this last week, my stitchy bug threatened to just jump right out the window. I don't know exactly what's been going on, but it's not been very pretty. I still managed to be pretty productive. Um, kicked myself into high gear yesterday, decided that I needed to work on a couple things before I worked on anything else. So hopefully that was motivation. Worked last night. Um, my husband took the two littles out of town yesterday. Uh, it's his small hometown festival weekend and I generally don't go because I guess I'm antisocial or I don't like sitting around at the beer fence. I think I talked about this last year. There's not a beer tent, it's a fence, a literal fence that you stand at. <sighs> I'm just not into that. So he goes every year to see his old high school buddies. He went, he took the two littles to spend the night with grandma and grandpa and the teenager and I stayed here. We went to my cousin's son's birthday party yesterday and then my friend next door just got back from LA um, late on Friday. She was there for two weeks because she had some brain surgery. You can believe that it is actual brain surgery. So that was the first time I got to see her. Um, so I spent a couple hours over there just talking about stuff and it was good. It's good to have her have her back among us making plans for the next few weeks when she's feeling uh, well enough to get out and about. So Yesterday, when I finally, you know, kids left at like 10.30, close to 11, I sat down and stitched a little, I watched a couple floss tube videos, took a shower, went over to my cousin's, came back, I went next door, and by the time I actually settled down to like stitch, it was like 7 o'clock at night. It was like the whole day felt, it was crafting wasted, it was crafting wasted, but it was not good times wasted. And I had decided probably on Friday, maybe even Thursday night, it was probably Thursday, um, I pulled out a piece and I said, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this before I work on anything else. I need a finish because I really felt like that was part of the issue that I was having was just I have all of these whips and I have not finished anything um, in like a couple months so I needed to do that so I had I've pulled out lots of things just random things to work on I'm not really working on a rotation um, but I've been pulling out things and then I pulled I pulled one out and I finished it late last night like 11 10 I finished it and it is Satsuma Streets uh, good things happen to those who hustle I started this in January for the Cross Stitch Crazy 2016 Challenge. Um, I did it as charted. It is on 16 count Ada in Mystic from Picture This Plus. So, all done. All done. Hustle down there. I had a lot of fractional stitches. That was not fun. Fractional stitches on Ada. Not a good time. But it's done now. I love it and I felt, you know, that rush, that like, oh, I finished something. That's how I got, that's how I felt. And then I immediately put my next project on the Q-Snap that will be finished before I do anything else. Oh yes, there will be two finishes in short succession. This one also happened to be a new start. It was one of those crazy knee-jerk starts that's just, can't help yourself and it's still on the Q-snap so you will have to excuse it 
It is a, let me just pull this through. It's a design by Coffee Stitcher Design on Etsy. You may recognize that name as our very own Garrett Coffee Stitcher. Um, and it is called There Are Always Helpers. I get it in frame here. So this obviously is my work. <laughs> and um, it is based on Fred Rogers' quote, um, there, there are always people helping. So let me show you the mock-up from his design so that you can see that I'm almost done. I only have the border left. Um, basically, one night... We were chatting um, on Facebook, and we were talking about old movies, actually. And to keep a short story even shorter, I was like, you know, he gave a suggestion of something that I should watch. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good. I'll have to, you know, I can only usually watch things after the little kids go to bed because I'm always watching Daniel Tiger and something else. And, um... You know, he said something like, oh, Mr. Rogers. I'm like, yeah, I know, Mr. Rogers. Like, oh, my God. And for those of you that don't know, here's a little side note. So Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood is a PBS cartoon based on the characters from Fred Rogers' Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And the basic story is all of the puppets that were in his land of make-believe are now in their own world, and they have their own families. So Daniel Tiger is actually Daniel Tiger's son, though they don't ever call Dad Tiger or Mr. Tiger. They call him Dad or Mr. Tiger. They don't call him Daniel Tiger, but that's who he is. And he's married and he has Daniel Tiger, his son, who's the main character of Daniel Tiger, Tiger's Neighborhood. And in last season, they actually had uh, baby Margaret. So Daniel Tiger has a little sister. Um, X the Owl is there. And what I like about this cartoon, it's been on for... <sighs> It's been on for a few years, but what I like about it is it's it's the main puppets and they have all their families, but each of the families are different. Kind of representing real life, right? So O the tiger or X the Tiger or X the Tiger. X the Owl is there and he still lives in his treehouse and he lives with his nephew, um, O. And O's kind of a little sketchy, not sketchy, he's like flighty, like He's very, um, he's very organized. He's a bookworm, right? So he's, he's very organized. He doesn't like every time my phone goes off, every freaking time. Um, X doesn't like, or O doesn't like, um, like things out of place. He's very sensitive to loud noise. Um, he doesn't like to do anything out of the norm. Sounds like some kids these days, right? Um, Henrietta Pussycat is there. She's represented and she has her daughter, Katerina. Um, but there's no father in the picture. We don't know where Henrietta's, or we don't know uh, who Katerina's dad is, which is interesting. Um, they're not married, as far as you can tell. And then uh, Lady Elaine Fairchild married Music Man Stan. I don't remember Music Man Stan being in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, so maybe he's made up. But they have a daughter, and the thing with them is that Music Band Stan is a black man, and Lady Elaine is white, and so um, Miss Elena is both, right? And who else is there? Oh, and then, of course, Queen Sarah and King Friday had Prince Tuesday, but now Prince Tuesday has a little brother, Prince Wednesday, and he's like the jokester. He, uh, he's always being silly and, you know, sometimes he doesn't take things very seriously. So that was a long thing. But anyway, so this is why I really like it because it's a nod back to old school Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Like Trolley's still there in the land of make-believe, but it's updated with the old characters, um, but new kids that are relevant to today's children. There you go. So anyway, so we were talking about Mr. Rogers and then the next morning, He's like, hey, I was just thinking there aren't very many Mr. Rogers um, patterns out there. And like the only one that I had ever seen was Cloud's Factory, which I love. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And, you know, you look up Fred Rogers quotes and they're all they're all great. But they're all so long. It's not something that you really want to stitch. 
But then at the end of the day, Garrett sent me a link. He's like, I made one. And I was like, I'm going to go buy it. So that's what I did. This is it. This is the mock-up, the computer-generated mock-up. So obviously the famous trolley and the sweater. And I'm working on this dreaded border right now. So this is all that I have done at that border. That will be my next finish. That's what I'm going to work on next. That was a long story about Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It's great. If you have a PBS channel, you should go check it out if you ever watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Even if you never plan on watching it again, you should just check it out once because it is so cute. It's on Netflix, too. Um, it's just so cute. In the first day I saw it, Axel at that time was... I don't think he was an infant. He, he, was, he was in crawling stage anyway. And I cried when I saw it because I was, ugh, just the flood of kid emotions. I've always loved Mr. Rogers and his foundation does just great things long after his death. So anyway, those were that. Um, like I said, I also worked on some random whips. Um, I finished the circles on the Lakeside Needlecraft Doreen Jones stitch along so there's 12 here now 3 6 9 12 yep um, I did not finish the border I didn't even work anymore on the border because I just didn't want to so the actual first character for August releases tomorrow pretty excited about that it'll actually probably release sometime this evening because the last time they, oh, I really have got to surge those edges. Um, the last time they released it, like UK time, so it was earlier US time, which doesn't happen very often. Not often are we on the, at least my time zone isn't often on the, the side of the stick that gets early stuff. So that's really exciting. I'm excited to see that. I also worked on Plum Street Sampler's Spring Delivery. If you remember, last time I talked about this, I was getting ready to work on the horse's rump, and I decided that I was going to stitch it uh, one over two, because it was just getting so bulky, it was kind of creeping me out. And that's exactly what I did. So I finished, um, finished up his tail. I don't remember if I had that tail done last time. And then I started filling in with... One, I can't see it. I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> With the one over the one. Or one over two. I keep saying one over one. One over two. I love it. I think it looks amazing. One over two. So I will likely be finishing everything that way. And hopefully it doesn't look too ridiculous. Um, I finished his... The horse's ass. <laughs> I finished that. So I probably, when I go back to this, I'll try to finish the front of the horse. We'll see. There's still lots of this to go. I keep thinking that I'm like, oh, I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with it. I'm not almost done with this. I would like to be done with it this year because it's super pretty. But it doesn't happen yet. I also worked a little bit on my Lizzie Kate spooked mystery sampler and then I made a mistake and I put it away. It's such a minor mistake, but I was still pretty mad about it. So, but this is as far as I got. I finished um, the stock and then almost all of the pumpkin. I made a mistake. So this is everything is a stitch down and then I started you can see right there I started to do some leaves and then I realized I was a stitch off and then I got pissed and then I put it away it's not that big of a deal I should have had an overlapping stitch on one of these and I don't so it's down a stitch maybe two I, I'm not for sure at this point so I just need to do some fudging it'll be fine I'm going to have to look. I just realized it has borders and it's not always easy to figure all that out. Oh, I'm not ripping all that out, that's for sure. Um, so I'd like to get back to that. 
I guess. Good, right? That is the um, kit. Was that Ale? Yeah, Belfast Ale by Picture This Plus. Came with the kit. I got the kit with the embellishments in the threads, in the fabric, and the auto ship of the pattern, which I got a clue to already. And then I worked because uh, I just this is when I was like just searching for something easy like I just needed something to work on and I pulled out my Janlin kit um, what's it called all you need chalkboard so this is the one that's all you need is love oh my gosh so this is it. Um, when you last saw it, I think I just had the O done. So this is the O. This is part of the V. I forgot this whole V part, and this is part of the E. I don't know what I was thinking quite there. But that's what I have. And then I quickly put this away because I was like, this is not what I want to work on. This is not what I want to work on. And I um, threw away the floss that came with the kit. And I'm using DMC white. Just white. Blanc. Blanc. I think that's all that I worked on. I'm all out of things that I worked on. But I did get some haul. So I'm going to show you that. It's in this bag down here. Because I think I had to... Yeah, I had to move it all from the place I usually put my stuff to show you guys because it got to be too much. What'd I get? I got... Oh! My first Chatelaine kit! So this came from European Cross Stitch, and I'm really not going to pull, pull it all out because you've seen this done before. It's not that big of a deal. It's the uh, Mini Mandala One um, kit, so it, I bought it with fabric and everything. So it came with three pieces of linen, 28 count maybe, looks like it. It came with three Karen Water Lilies. Um, it came with one, two, three, four cards of Petite Treasure Braid, and then some beads. So that's the kit. It took, like, almost five weeks to get here. So if you are and this is a little kit. So if you are ordering from European Cross Stitch, which, by the way, is not in Europe, it is in Tennessee, according to this. You will not get it right away. They like can do everything from what I understand. And I also learned I got a shipping notice that it had shipped, but there was no tracking number. And I was chatting with Tracy and um, she's like, yeah, I think you need to ask them for that. What in God's name? That is the dumbest thing. So you may not get a tracking number. Nonetheless, when it was shipped I got it in like three days because it was shipped um, USPS first class no big deal got it no problem so excited don't know when I'm gonna start it who knows I don't I don't know do I need to start something else no will I not today I don't think mm. so I also got my fabric of the month from under the sea fabrics I'm so sorry to those of you that don't have yours yet. Hopefully there aren't many of you. This is, I'm not taking out the package once again. Um, see it better back here. Look at that. That's pretty true to life. This is a uh, dreamsicle. Mine is a Belfast linen opalescent. So you might, you can see. Oh, sparkles. This is darker than I thought it was going to be. I think the more cream dreamsicle color would probably be in like the Lugana because you know even weave takes dye lighter it's still really pretty though it's just bright I don't know what I would do with that I don't know what I'm gonna do with any of this stuff a dinky dye silk on Etsy was having an oops package sale 
why people keep sending me messages. I'm sorry, I dropped something. Uh, it's uncomfortable. Sending me messages. Great sale. Like, stop. Don't. Stop. Don't stop. So I picked up three packs of silks. This multicolored. These greens. Are you joking me? And these golds. Come on now. Come on now. I have an idea for these multicolored ones. I bought a pattern. Maybe I won't show you. It's a digital pattern. I'll show you. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. It's from Charting Creations. And it's called um, Imagination Unleashed. I'll insert a picture here. And I'm going to use those silks for the that's coming up out of the book. So it's very a la Jessie Marie, her um, video of recipe for a magical night and how she's using Mohs and Jodery maybe cottons to do the boo coming out of the cauldron. Yeah, that gave me that idea. I was pretty excited about it. So thanks Jessie for that. Yay. Spooked Mystery Sampler Part 2, which is the same picture as Spooked Mystery Sampler Part 1, and it's a mystery, and I can't show you because it's just the pattern, because it's a mystery, so that's mysterious right there. Mysterious. Um, and then early, early on, I got a 1-2-3 stitch order. There's lots of orders in here. Let me back up for just a second. First, I got the Chatelaine pattern. From stitch oh from stitching bits and bobs so I'm I placed an order for this these are those mandalas all in their glary glory okay because you know stitching bits and bobs has everything like on sale all of the time so it was just cheaper than buying the uh, PDF and I didn't need the PDF right away because I bought the kit so I didn't need to know what was in it and I wasn't gonna start it that day anyway so stitching bits and bobs because you know you have to wait for stitching bits and bobs, right? Right? You have to wait. I also purchased this paper copy of Death by Cross Stitch because it was cheaper than the PDF. And even though I knew what I needed for this, I needed I needed the pattern. So, stitching bits and bobs. I got this in two days. Two days from the time I clicked submit on my order to the time it showed up in my mailbox. Stitching Bits and Bobs is in Plainwell, Michigan, which is not that far away for me. It's like an hour and 15 minutes maybe drive, drive time. Um, so stuff in the mail generally comes really fast once it's sent. Usually once I get a shipping notice, it takes a day to get here. Um, because I'm pretty sure that it was sent, yeah, it was sent priority, priority two day, like it gets here instantaneously. I placed my order Tuesday night at like 9 p.m. and I got this Thursday. Thank you, Bobby, from Stitching Bits and Bobs. Um, I also another Mirabilia. I ordered this myself from Witch Out directly, but um. It's the peacock, you guys. I didn't think ahead to get any of the Krynik. <laughs> I don't know why. Did not think ahead. And I don't know. It only has one silk. So I have to figure out what that is. So I'll have to find that someplace. But I did get all the holy beads, Batman. I got all the beads. These are beads for days. Probably have some of these beads. And then, oh, and I got this Plum Street Samplers Harvest Keeper. How cute is she with the bees? I'm really into bees right now. 
Not bees outside, but bee patterns. And then for my birthday, which was back in May, our lovely Tracy P bought me a gift certificate to um, 123 Stitch. And it has just been burning a hole in my email since I got it. And I was like, finally, you know what? I need to spend that. It was also the beginning of, I think, my stitchy bug flying away. It was, I just I felt like I needed to buy some things to get it back. But I remembered this pattern. Uh, Fiber Artsy was working on it. Um, it's called My Favorite Apron by Barbara Anna Designs. She's, I don't know if she started, I think she started it for Mania. And look real close. Do you see those little cherubs? They're the most scary things I've ever seen in my life. And that's why I needed this chart. So I bought it. Well, Tracy bought it for me. And then I purchased um, a couple pieces of fabric for it to, to put on it. One of them will definitely not work, so I won't show you that. Um, I'm going to put it on Vintage Country Mocha, which is one of my favorite. Um, that's a 36 count. It is one of my favorite colors of linen. And then I bought all of the floss for it. So there were four Valdani flosses. I can say about this gloomy weather, I get really true color. So those are those, and then these weird DMCs, like what are those? They're weird, why are they packaged like this? And these plastic, I guess is rayon? I didn't even look to see why this is like this. 100% cotton. I don't know. So I was so excited about these because isn't she fun? Oh, Crystal. Thank you. I'm very excited for her. Am I going to start her today? No. Am I going to start her tomorrow? No. Do you know when you're going to start her, Trisha? No. No, I don't know when that's going to happen. So, I'm still waiting on some needle minders. I placed a stupid order. My last video I said this. I placed a stupid, stupid order with um, Julie at Nifty Needle Annie's. I think a lot of play people might have placed stupid orders. I don't have mine yet. It was a stupid big order. So, and then I added to it last week. So, hopefully I get that soon. I have another pretty big order coming from Nessa's Needle Minders that actually comes tomorrow, so you won't see it for a couple weeks, but I am pretty excited about it. It's my first time ordering from her. That's it. That's all I have. That doesn't seem like very much. Um, I have had a few people send me messages about my project bags. I just got my zippers in. Like last week, I order, I don't keep a lot of zippers on hand, and I, I refuse to order zippers at like Joann's because they're so expensive. So I got my zippers in, and I've planned my fabrics. Um, I just have to start cutting them. Um, because my sewing space is down in my basement, and my basement is not exactly kid-friendly for little kids, I, I have a hard time sewing when they are up and about. And with Archer's poor sleeping habits right now, I have not been able to get down there to sew. Um, I have started to prep some, some like the vinyl I have all cut. Um, I have it all planned, but I need to sit down and sew. And since I can't do it downstairs, I'm going to have to bring my stuff up here. But I have to cut downstairs because I have a huge cutting table where... Um, where I cut so I can sew up here and be okay but I cannot cut up here I have bolts of fabric I don't but I don't often buy fabric at like Joann's or Walmart or anything I purchase direct from um, wholesalers and so I have bolts of 15 yards of fabric and dragging bolts upstairs from the basement to 
cut and then take back down just isn't happening. So this is happening slower than I wanted it to. I appreciate all of you guys um, being excited and wanting to see what I have. I hope that by the time I get these up in a first, a first batch, <laughs> you'll still be excited about it because because now she had a big release last night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I know some of you were on her page. I know you were with your clicky refresh fingers. I didn't even, um, I'm not into like Disney or cartoons, so I knew that I wasn't going to be interested per se in this batch. So I didn't like set my alarm or anything like I probably would have for a different one. But I know people that did. And when stuff didn't start posting at like 7, they're like, where are the bags? <laughs> And now you poor girl and when I finally like logged on Tracy had sent me a message and she's like it's like the Hunger Games over at Little House you know little little yellow house crafts I'll be back because she was over there looking and uh, everything I went over there and, like everything was gone <laughs> almost everything was spoken for and I just, I sat here and laughed and I sent Nell a message. I was like, do you just like post stuff and then sit back and go, whoa. And uh, yeah, it was funny. So hopefully some of you got some really awesome uh, treats. Uh, the bags were super cute. And I, a lot of fabrics that I had never seen before. So that was pretty awesome that she was able to pull those together um, for, for our community. They were pretty cool. But... <laughs> God, just died. I was like, that's a lot of pressure. So I hope you guys are just as excited about mine um, when they finally come out. Uh, whatever. So plans, plans for August. Get some sewing done. I'm going to finish Garrett's piece first before I do anything else. Um, tomorrow... So many things release. So the Lakeside Needlecraft Fantasy Sale with Doreen Jones releases. Um, generally, I start my next block for the Magical Creatures calendar by Clouds Factory. So that's the big block that's unicorns and rainbows. Um, what else comes out? Um, on the 29th, the second block for the Oz Mystery Sample Sampler by Petal Pusher came out. So that needs to be worked on. Um, what else? Something else. My calendar is in the kitchen, I think. I don't have my calendar here. I have all this stuff written down. It seems like there's something else that starts on first that I really cannot place. Um, but it's, 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 it's busy. It's busy. Some other things happen too this month with things. Oh, the uh, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery just released two new patterns, um, two stitch alongs. There's like a National Park one and then the Halloween Costume one. I did purchase the Halloween Costume PDF. I did not purchase the kit or the needle minders because I need another needle minder like I need another stitch along, <laughs> which means I don't, I don't need them. But I got those, so those will be coming up. There's just all sorts, I don't know, I don't know. I There, I'm there, I said it. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm gonna work on other than this. This is what, oh, I just lost it. This is what I'm working on right now. This. I don't know what else. And Jessie Marie's book club is, is happening and Goodreads which I started reading one of the books. Oh, and the Harry Potter, new Harry Potter book comes out. I should have that tomorrow because Amazon Prime. All of the things, all of the things. All of a sudden I'm really overwhelmed with all of the things. Crafter problems, right? Hashtag crafter problems. Give me a break. There are worse things. So who knows? Who knows what the hell I'm going to do? I don't know. And so you don't know either. We'll have to wait and see for two weeks. So I'll check again, check in again mid-month with a crap ton of needle minders to show you. And hopefully 
some progress on some other things. Yeah? All right. Hope you guys are having a great last day of January. January. Last day of January. Last day of July. Celebrate Harry Potter's birthday. If you're not a big Potterhead, then celebrate the last day of July. And uh, stay stitchy. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.